Oh my gosh. It's an actual miracle. Oh my gosh. He's drinking. He's drinking. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. This literally is the first time I've ever seen him drink out of his bowl. He's obviously gotten some substrate in it, but it's clean. You a good baby. Why is this crooked? Why are you always crooked? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So normally I would say, as you guys can see by the title, but I don't actually know what I'm titling this. This video is probably gonna be really random, but guess what? I'm so excited. I know a lot of you guys are new to my channel, so hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome. This is my channel. I have animals. I love my tortoise. So a lot of you guys who are new probably aren't gonna really understand what I'm about to talk about, but if you wanna go back and watch a video that I will have a link for you down below, then you might know where this story is coming from. But for those of you who know what I'm about to talk about you guys may remember I posted a video I don't even know maybe it was like a month or two ago probably two months ago about a hibiscus tree that I bought for my tortoise very exciting I know but guys this is real life and this is something that I'm struggling with I've been struggling with this hibiscus tree because hibiscus is really good for tortoises they love to eat it and I am all about having a very naturally grown diet for my tortoise I don't like to feed him grocery store greens it's really not the best diet for tortoises so I try to grow my own stuff to feed him, but I fail. I'm awful at growing stuff. I really don't have a green thumb. Anyway, I'm really bad at growing stuff. I'm really not good at it. And I replanted this hibiscus tree and it basically died or like I thought it died. So I made like a whole little video series about how I failed at it and it basically died. But a lot of you guys, because you guys are so awesome, you commented on that video and kind of on multiple of the videos. And you guys told me that it probably wasn't dead, that it was probably in shock just to water it, leave it in the sun and it would like come back to life. So I obviously took your guys' advice. I did a little bit of research just to make sure I was like doing everything okay. But I had to replant that tree in a different pot because I wanted it to be organic. I wanted all the blooms and the leaves to not have any fertilizers or pesticides or anything in it. Because I bought the hibiscus tree at a store that did use fertilizer and perlite and stuff, I had to completely repot it. I'm sure you guys probably remember that video. I did a really good job, but it like kind of died regardless, or I thought it did, but you guys told me it was in shock, so I've been very patient for a couple months, and I cannot believe what happened today. I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you. I'm so excited. Also, I'm gonna be taking Blue out there because he's gonna be able to try hibiscus for the first time today. I'm so excited. I've been feeding him the leaves for a few weeks now because it has started to bloom the little leaves and things, but today my hibiscus bloomed the first flower. I'm so proud, even though I didn't really do anything Thing. it was all the sun but I'm so happy that it finally bloomed and I'm gonna be able to feed blue his first hibiscus flower ever this excites me probably more than it should if he doesn't eat it this video is gonna be a very big disappointment and I really apologize if I wasted any of your time if he doesn't eat this flower that's why I don't know what I'm gonna title this because I feel like if I'm just like tortoise eating a flower y'all gonna be like why did you make a video about that but this is a big moment for me I've wanted a tortoise forever I've wanted to feed him a hibiscus flower forever because they're beautiful I really hope that he likes it. I don't think he's ever had hibiscus before because the lady who had him for the first two and a half years of his life, she fed him mostly grocery store greens. That's why he has some pyramiding and things. So I've been trying to fix that, but I'm really excited. We're gonna go outside now. We also have to soak him. I've been rambling for a really long time. Please, please Blue, love this flower. Please, please eat it. Okay, let's go outside. We're gonna get him some sun. We're gonna soak him and we're gonna feed him the hibiscus flower and hopefully he eats it. Hey bud. Are you ready to go outside? We're gonna go outside. It's gonna feel so good. Are you ready? Okay, here we are outside. He's ready to go. Here is his bowl of warm water. It's just warm to the touch. It's not too hot or anything. We're gonna give him a little soak. He's a little bit dirty too, so I'm gonna kind of rinse him off. He hasn't had a soak in about three days. So we're just gonna soak him. I don't soak him too long. It's not gonna be anything crazy. You guys can really see his size now. He hasn't grown any since I got him. He's still five inches. So like here he is compared to my hand and I have really tiny hands. Hands. So we'll put him in this little bowl and give him a good little soak and then I want to show you guys his hibiscus. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. I'm just going to rinse you off a little bit. Shell's a little bit dirty. 
it's funny I know tortoises get dirty and I know that he literally lives on dirt and eco earth but I'm like let's just give you a little bit of bath because I just love when he's clean he's probably gonna poop really soon so once he poops we take him out because obviously you don't want to let him soak in his poo water guys look at this look how beautiful as you can see this tree has come a long way like it's actually got a lot of leaves on it now they're still pretty small but you can see there's like a lot of little bitty blooms and then there's of course this one gorgeous flower which we're gonna see if he will eat today it's so beautiful this is the organic topsoil that I repotted it in so it's been in this organic topsoil and it's working so well it's blooming I'm so happy I can't wait till it blooms a bunch more but guys I've went through it with this plant so to even get one flower I'm so pleased that is a healthy tortoise poop in case you guys are ever wondering so now we're gonna get him out of here because this water is dirty and we're gonna see if he'll eat that hibiscus one thing I always do is feel the concrete before I put him on anything outside because it is really hot right now outside so I just feel it make sure that it is not hot and then I actually go on and wet it down too just to cool it off if it is a little warm just so that while he's laying on there he's not uncomfortable there we go bud oh my goodness are you so excited oh wow he's going right in for it I knew he'd be so excited Oh my gosh, he's devouring it. He loves it so much. Oh, I can't wait for more blooms. Such a good boy. You did such a good job. You almost finished it. Oh, we're not done. We're still going. Wow, look at us. Wow, he absolutely loves this. All of this hard work on this darn plant was so worth it. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this footage because he is having so much fun. The entire plant is safe for tortoises, by the way. Even the green, it's completely safe, I promise. He's eaten this entire thing, oh my gosh. Good boy. I broke off the pollen part. I know he could probably eat it and it's fine, but I don't want him to eat all that pollen, so we'll just give him the stem. There you have it. He ate the entire thing, completely gone. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Blue outside for a little bit. This is a very, very regular part of our routine. And so every time I get a soak, if the weather is nice, I take him outside and let him soak up the sun while he's in the water. He really loves it. So it is nice to have that little part of my routine every week with Blue. I hope you guys enjoyed me letting you see that. And yeah, I think that's about it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much if you're new here. Welcome, I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.